The name Doritos in Spanish means little bits of gold. I, I love them, they are little bits of gold. Delicioso. This factory in Cambridge, Ontario, receives a delivery of 35,000 kilograms of corn every day. The dried corn is transferred from huge storage silos to a kettle where it's cooked in water. We can't tell you how long it's cooked. That's a trade secret. Every day we can use up to 18,000 kilograms of raw corn in our Dorito production. Over the course of a year, that adds up to over six and a half million kgs of finished product. That is a lot of corn. Once cooked, it's moved to big vats where it soaks overnight to soften the kernels. The next day, cooked corn is pumped through pipes to a machine where it's washed. After cleaning, it heads down a conveyor to the milling machine, where spinning millstones grind the corn into a masa. Masa is Spanish for dough. The word commonly refers to a corn dough, like this one, which is extruded into a sheet. This will be your Dorito, made out of this. The one meter wide masa sheet is fed into a cutter, which forms the dough into perfect little triangles or cookies 10 rows wide. This machine can cut 6,000 individual chips every minute. That's over 8 million every 24 hours. Time to toast those tortillas. A critical part of our process we call toasting. The heart of that process is driving out the moisture so that when we put that chip into the fryer, it doesn't balloon up. After toasting, the chips take a trip on a long cooling belt. Three tiers of it, in fact, so they're cool enough for frying. This also prevents large blisters from forming on the chips when they take a hot, oily bath. The chips fall into a fryer filled with vegetable oil heated to 288 degrees Celsius. Toasting, then frying the chip, gives it that extra crunch and signature texture. The bubbles that you see on a finished Dorito, uh, they're really pockets of air trapped in the chip that's created when you do your frying process. We take good care to make sure we have the perfect number, perfect size on every Doritos. Next stop, the seasoning tumbler. Ah, oh, my taste buds are tingling already. Meet Scott. He's in charge of turning plain old chips into delicious nacho cheese Doritos. He loads a secret blend of cheddar cheese, Romano cheese, and spices into a hopper to be piped to the tumbler. It may look intimidating, but this gentle giant distributes seasoning evenly. And as the delicate chips ride the tumbler, they act as cushions, keeping each other from breaking into pieces. The seasoned Doritos take a long journey along 30 meters of conveyor belt to ensure they're completely cooled before packaging. An occasional shake makes sure nothing clumps together. This flour-like machine is a scale. Here, it separates the chips into the proper portions for bagging. Every large bag of Doritos contains about 100 chips. Hey, that's 50 for each hand. Perfect. The chips fall through tubes to the packaging machines. Our packaging process happens at very high speeds. We'll be unrolling the film from behind the machine. Product at the same time will be dropping from our scale mezzanine. Uh, the perfect amount of product will fall into the bag and will form the seals and cut the bag all in two seconds. Valerie makes certain there are eight bags in every box. The best thing about Doritos is the flavor. This plant can make and package 70,000 bags of Doritos every day. That's over 18 million a year. 